In this video, we'll be making breakfast sandwich with sausage and veggies. This recipe is quick and easy to make, it's very nutritious, and it's going to keep you full until the lunchtime. You can also customize this recipe and substitute the meat and the vegetables for the type of meat and veggies that you specifically like. And if you decide to do that, let me know in the comment section below how it turned out and what ingredients you used. Now let's talk about the ingredients that I used for this recipe. I used 3 eggs, 4 pieces of bread, and I used whole wheat, but really any type of bread will do. I also used half a pound of beef bologna sausage that I got from the deli, but any other type of sausage will work. I also used one tomato, half of a green bell pepper, 16 ounces of shredded cheese, and I used Colby Jack from the deli, one third of a cup of mayonnaise, black pepper and salt to taste, and olive oil for baking. First, break 3 eggs into a small bowl, add a little bit of salt and black pepper to taste, and use a whisk to beat the eggs. Beat the eggs for a minute or two, it doesn't have to be long, and when you're done, place a nonstick pan on a medium heat. Add a little bit of olive oil to the pan and dip your bread into the egg mixture. Make sure that all areas of the bread are covered and place the bread into the pan. Bake for about 2 minutes on each side or until golden. Now, I used 3 eggs for the egg mixture to make 4 sandwiches and it was just the right amount. If you're making more than 4 sandwiches, then you'll need to use more eggs. Also, these come out to be 1 sandwich per serving. They are so fulfilling that I honestly don't think that you'll need more than 1 to be full. When you are done prepping your bread, set aside and let's prep the rest of the ingredients. Shred 16 oz of cheese, and I like Colby Jack, so that's what I used, I bought it from the deli. And I always recommend to shred the cheese yourself, as it's going to melt a lot better. Next, finely dice half of a bell pepper, and I use green bell pepper, because that's all I had, but the recipe will work just fine if you use yellow or red bell pepper. Finally chop one tomato, make sure to remove the seeds first, as they're going to make your sandwich too watery. Next, chop the sausage into small pieces, again, any other type of sausage will work for this. Take out the baking sheet, cover it with parchment paper and place the cooked bread onto the sheet. Next, spread the mayonnaise onto all four pieces of bread and next we're going to evenly add our chopped tomato, chopped bell pepper and chopped sausage. looks so delicious already and we're not even done yet. The last thing that we're going to add is going to be shredded cheese. I feel like cheese always makes everything taste so much better, especially when it's melted fresh out of oven. Mm, I'm so excited for this. So go ahead and evenly spread the shredded cheese among your sandwiches and place it in an oven. Broil at 400 degrees for about 3 to 5 minutes or until the cheese has melted. And this is it! This is how you make a healthy and delicious breakfast sandwich that's going to keep you full until the lunchtime. Let me know in the comment section below how yours turned out. 